Hello. Let's go through some quick tips on how to relieve constipation. The first point is drink a cup of warm coffee. So, and in this case, the caffeinated coffee works better than the decaffeinated coffee. You know, coffee contains caffeine, which stimulates the muscles in your digestive tract, thereby increasing the bowel movement. So the increased bowel movement makes it easier for you to pass through. And please note that coffee dehydrates the body. So anytime you are drinking coffee, remember to add an extra cup of water to prevent dehydration. And another important thing to note is that you should not go beyond the recommended daily limits when it comes to coffee intake. You cannot go above four cups of coffee in a day. So the maximum cup of coffee you can take in a day is only four cups. Please do not go beyond it. And also, if you are taking certain medications, you should not take coffee. There are certain medications that should never be taken with coffee. They should never be mixed with coffee. This is because coffee interferes with the absorption or the excretion of this medication. So it interferes with how the medications get absorbed by your body and how it will work. Now, examples of such medications include medications for thyroid conditions, diabetes medications, heart medications for heart disease. It could be high blood pressure or hypertension, asthma medications, um, cold and allergy, cold and allergy medications, and then antidepressants. If you are taking any antidepressant, you should not take coffee. There are many more. So please do not take coffee if you are taking currently taking any of these medications. And also, if you have any current medical condition that you are not sure whether you should take coffee or not, kindly speak to your doctor first before you decide on whether to take coffee or not. Okay, so the next point is you should always stay hydrated. Drink more water. And for a healthy adult, a healthy adult in this case refers to an adult who does not have any medical condition that requires him or her to, you know, to be restricted when it comes to water intake. So you should be taking 1.5 to 3 liters of water in a day. And that's 3 to 6 sachets waters or 3 to 6 pure waters a day. And that's actually the minimum because this can vary depending on the weather. If the weather is very hot, obviously you need more water. If you are more active, you need to take in more water. So it varies depending on several factors. But as a healthy adult, make sure you are taking between 1.5 to 3 liters of water in a day. This helps to soften your stool and also move it out for you to be able to pass it without getting constipated. Okay, the next point is you should... This has to do with how you sit on the water closet whenever you want to pass to. So you should you need to get a, a stool or a kitchen stool in your washroom. So when you sit on the WC, you put both legs on the stool. And you notice that this puts you in a squat-like position. So this position raises your, your knees above your hip and this actually modifies the anatomy there thereby relaxing the muscles in that area and it all this position also uh, pos uh, it's it makes it puts your colon or your large intestine it positions it in a way to makes it to make it easier for you to pass through and it also makes it faster for you to pass through so you need to get a stool in your washroom 
every time you go there, please use the stool. Put your legs on the stool. That is very important. And this also prevents, you know, hemorrhoids because when you are, you, you will not strain if you sit or if you position yourself that way. You will not be straining in order to pass to. So your the veins in your rectum and inner area do not become swollen and painful. Okay. The next point is you should take in more fiber foods, such as fruits, vegetables, whole grains, nuts, and so forth. You should be consuming those on a daily basis. Then you should not ignore or postpone the urge to use the washroom. Please do not do that. You know, when you do that, some people have the habits. But if you continue doing that, what happens is that you'll be getting more constipations. You get constipated more often. And the worst form is that it becomes, you. it gets to a point where you cannot pass the stool on, on yourself, by yourself. So what happens is that it leads to fecal impaction. The stool becomes hard and dry and stuck in the large intestine to the extent that your large intestine or your colon cannot you know move the stool out so when this happens it have you have to go to the hospital for it to be removed manually it has to be taken out in the hospital so please do not and another thing that happens if you continue ignoring that edge is that it gets to a point that you do not notice or you do not notice when there is two you need to pass two so it can lead to um fecal incontinence you'll be there and then the stool just passes so please do not ignore the edge to use the bathroom or the washroom when you have to and then the last but not the least please exercise such as taking a walk that is also it helps your bowels to move and work properly so you do not constipate and if all this fail and you think you may need to take a laxative, please make sure you speak to your doctor first and take laxatives only when prescribed because there are serious consequences, health consequences, if you abuse laxatives. So please do not just buy laxatives without prescription. So thank you and please watch out for more videos. Bye.